This is love. Where is the Harley to my Deadpool? In a completely different universe, just like Harley and Deadpool. Oh! What is he doing? Hey, yo, Ma, let me get your number! What the fuck? Let me get your number, yeah. Shut up. Just shut up. You had me at hello. Shit, that'll bring you down. Your intro's too long. No, you're just very impatient. That too. I'm the Infuso, the social injustice warrior, I guess. And joining me... Greetings, I'm Leslie Rambo, and you can thank the kids in middle school for giving me that name. So now, this, what, what you're wearing, uh, is this your Halloween costume, or do you always just dress up like the human embodiment of a cat? Good thing you asked, because it's actually both. Which doesn't really make sense, because I'm obsessed with dogs, but you don't really see me wearing dog ears. My life is a lie. I love dogs. I've always loved dogs. So who are you going for as Halloween? An outdated 90s stereotype grunge rocker? <clears throat> Let's move on, shall we? Actually, that's like an amazing idea. Let's do that. So anyway, we're here to give to you our creepiest, cringiest, or just overall weird messages. You're cute AF. Maybe I can take you out on a date to get to know you better? I don't go outside. It's true, I don't really go outside. Yes, it's sad. No, I don't plan to change it. You were in my dream last night. Sounds more like a nightmare. I am so sorry that you had to endure that. Morning sex? Yeah, no. What about breakfast, then? Like what? I don't know. Depends what you're close to. What cross streets are you on? I already ate. <laughs> and I'm also on this diet where I don't eat food with strangers. Normally, I would ask you to shoot me if I ever turn down food, but it, everything in this context is just like, no, stop. This next one is what happens when you match your friends on Tinder. Ew, ugly. Why are you right swiping me for? <laughs> What's up, douchey? <laughs> Dick. Nothing much. What's up with you? How you been? Oh, you know, the usual. Just trying to be less of a fuck-up. That's always good. Yup, yup. Staying out of trouble? <laughs> of course. Good to hear. So, why you on Tinder? Glory holes aren't cutting it? Not since you showed up on the other side of them. Seemed like this was a safer bet, but again... Here you are. Hi. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. I see you like dogs. Tell me more. They actually didn't reply to this one, but I wish they did because I really like dogs, and it's just, it's really unfortunate. I'll let you know more as it develops. Well, thank you, Katie Couric. So she kind of has the dog equivalent to your rogue hair strand, but naturally. Oh my god. We are meant to be together. I don't think that's legal, Aaron. Not physically, V. Like his best friends. Oh, good. Because I was about to contact the authorities. Okay, animal lovers out there, alright, whatever you call yourselves, you should be ashamed of yourself. You're disgusting, alright? You leave those animals alone. Hey, what's up, Leslie? What you up to? He smoked wake and bake or what? Jesus fucking Christ, man. <laughs> what? So, no? Like, what does that even mean? Are you, are you asking me a question? Are you narrating something? Are you offering to smoke me out? What is, what is happening? It's a good thing we didn't place money on this because my creeps are so much creepier than yours. Yeah, um, no. You saw mine. Like, those are, those are pretty bad. There's something wrong with those people. N nope, nope, I win. Nope, bye. So no more sex? She's wrong, too. I only threw her out twice in my last video, so. So let the record show, I'm only two times the douchebag that you think I am. Two times. Not three. Two. Hey, message me ASAP. Do you need help? No, I have a question. Wanna make some money? Uh, not sex. Your feet.
Oh my god, I just, I hate it when people go around sending out messages asking for, like, favors in, in return for money. Like, is this what you're doing with your internet connection? Because you are ruining my life. You need to stop. It's time to stop! Lose faith in humanity yet? Yeah, this is why I don't like people. You ever sleep with somebody who will just never let you forget it? They'll just bring it up out of the blue? How was your weekend? Oh, it was good, you know, but I've had better. You remember, right? Yeah, of course I remember. I still have the nightmares. I don't know what you're talking about. I erased that from my memory. But not you and me chilling. I miss it. Especially when you are like the only one to talk some sense into me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Among you being able to other things. <laughs> Hi, miss. Interested in humiliating and degrading a submissive sissy bitch boy that will do Anything you say is, I know my place. I'll even show my pathetic face too, miss. Aside from that being the worst conversation opener ever, it's not the first time I've heard it, and I don't know why people just kind of go ahead and assume that I'm a dominatrix or something. Oh wait, maybe it's because I've joked around a few times and said that I'm a dominatrix. Whoops. Okay, people, there are specific sites dedicated to what you're looking for. This is not it. Why? Why? Just why? Why are people like this? Probably because they make people like you and me look a lot better. Okay, yeah, that's true. Yeah, but they were really hot. Where are them pictures at, though? I don't just start snapping pictures of women I find attractive. That's, uh, oh, what's the word? Immensely creepy? I think that one speaks for itself, so let's just move on. Hey, my GF and I are looking for another person to join us for a night of ecstasy and we were wondering if you might be interested in joining in the fun. I'm not really interested in joining in on the fun. I'm interested in you stopping. <laughs> Would you look at that? We probably could have met years ago, but we both keep turning down the same threesomes. Life's funny, isn't it? You are my favorite person on Facebook. You flatter me. You touch my genitals with your posts of geniuses. That's all I ever wanted to hear. I'm all yours. It'll be a spring wedding. You wouldn't catch Kirk saying some gay gobbledygook. That's why Kirk fails. Picard all the way. Because Kirk would just punch the feelings away. Yeah, but Kirk was William Shatner, so he immediately drops points. You can't handle the Shat. I don't want to handle Shat. Oh my god, I'm dying. It's, uh, it's cousin. Hey, it's cousin. Do you have a name? or is that usually how you address yourself? Okay, fun story here. This particular one, no idea who she was, added me on Facebook. Now, she was to be married, and she was pregnant. Her Facebook said engaged, her profile picture was the two of them kissing, and yet she still tried to chat me up. She told me that her fiance was deceased, and when I casually explained that I wasn't really buying it, well, then she made a fake account and posed as her own cousin, and then start chatting me up once again. Guys, come on. Take a look at me. Do I really look like I'm worth ending your marriage over? I mean... Come on. Hey, this babysitter? Yes? You'll change diapers before? I have, but it's been years. You don't mind change diapers? Not at all. Diapers smell good or bad? It's a super. It's not roses or anything, but I don't mind it. You don't mind diapers, me too. Mrs. Yes? Can you buy me diaper? Are you looking for a sitter? Yes. What do you mean by the diapers? If I can provide them? No. I want to wear diapers. Mrs. Do you have a child? No. Are you a child? Or disabled? Both. Okay, how old are you? I am 25. Leave me alone. Okay, so you may be wondering, how did they even get my phone number? Well, I'll tell you what, I put it up on Craigslist. That sounds weird, but it was for a babysitting ad, okay? Chill. This one honestly creeped me out more than any of the other ones because, I mean, it's, it's self-explanatory. Morning. Morning, Daddy. That's a funny way of saying my name. 
Special thanks to Leslie, my creepers, her creepers, and the lovely vocal talents of S Ninja and Better A Few. Oh, I cannot pronounce your name, so that was that was my attempt. And Better A Few. Check out their channels when you get the opportunity. Thank you guys for tuning in, and if you haven't already, then what are you waiting for? Go check out Leslie's account. Link provided in the notions, actually, in the notions, a and below in the description as well. And when you're done checking it out, subscribe. You spend so much time just coming in here, make, making yourself at home. Click the button. And without further ado, here is the feline herself to close us out. Well, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I also want to give a huge thanks to V for inviting me to do this collab. I had a ton of fun making it, and I hope you guys really liked it. Let us know down in the comments below which one of our messages creeped you out the most, and if you have any you've received that you'd like to share with us, we'd love to see them. If you guys want to see some more of my videos and these fucking cat ears, go ahead and check out my channel. And don't forget to subscribe to Do It All Productions for the latest Social Injustice Warrior content. Now really quick, before we go, I feel a need to ask... You know you're a person, right? I know this is unusual, but I'm turned on by blankets. Let's do this. <laughs> okay, that's that's the noise that I I think the icon would make, just like a blah. So moving on to the diaper one. Oh god, that one was weird. Ugh, jeez, shit scares me. All right, we sink deeper into the abyss. Oh yeah, and that is nothing compared to my weirdest one. Seeing as I'm a guy who looks like a descendant of the Duck Dynasty crew, and I get the kind of messages I get. I can only imagine that there must be that much more for a pretty girl in a collar. Wait a second, that last one was me. Oh, whoops.